Hi everyone, this is a Journey to Clear Skin video. Um, I just want to share some of the products I've been using over the last year and just update you on what has and hasn't worked for me um, and maybe something that will help you all handle adult acne and hyperpigmentation like I have. So we're just going to jump right in and share what I got and we can work from there and chat along the way. So. In this box, this lovely, lovely box I picked up from Target, is most of my skin, most of my skincare items, skincare, skincare items. Um, has a nice little lid on it, and it just really helps me to keep organized. It's really good for in the mornings when I'm really busy because most of my things are in here, with the exception of the soap I threw in here just so it would be all together for the video. But, for the most part, everything that I use is in here. So let's get started. The first thing we can talk about is cleansers. So my number one cleanser is the RA Cosmetics 100% Black Soap with Mango. I prefer the mango scent. Um, they use mango extract, so it's no artificial, artificial um, scents in there. I have used other um, black soaps in the past have not worked for me. Actually made my skin worse. I had that experience not too long ago, maybe in August when I ran out of my black soap like this. So now I buy like four <laughs> at once. I don't have to worry about it running out and then me messing up my skin because that's what happened. I can't remember the name of the other one, but if you've tried black soap before and it hasn't worked, it could be because it's not the black soap for you and your skin type. Um, because all the ingredients are different. I know, like most of them have like the same things like honey, shea butter, um, cocoa powder, um, plantain powder, and some other things like coconut oil or aloe vera and whatever. It really just all just depends. So yeah. But this has done me some good stuff. It's helped with my combination skin and I would definitely recommend it. It's supposed to be good for clearing up scars and evening out um, skin tone. Some people have, some people don't like to use it or are weary of using it because they've heard that it will lighten their skin. That's not true. It just helps even out your skin and get rid of those dead flakes that are on there, which is sometimes will darken your complexion. The next thing, if you've watched my other YouTube video um, or read my blog post, you know that I have been using this for. Was it a year? Was this two years? No. Does that speak? Has it been two years? Maybe it has. No, it's been a year. That was a lie. Yeah, it's been a year. Um, I was like, has it been two years? This, um, Mario Bediscu Skincare Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. This is a AHA, or this is a BHA, an AHA cleanser, which is really good for, um, being an exfoliant without additives. So, harsh crystals and things like that. Once again, getting rid of those dead skin cells, those dead flakes. I use this once or twice a week. That's why, even though in a little bit, a little bit, goes a really long way. Because this is a six ounce bottle and it's maybe like this full. So from here, there. So, what? One, two, three, so I'd maybe use like one fifth of it in a year. It's about twenty something dollars. I'll put all the links and the prices below. But it's a really good investment. And I have noticed that my skin feels smoother. I've noticed that um, my dark spots have lightened since I've gotten this. And so I really attribute using this to that process. I can't remember how the percentage of glycolic acid that's in here. But when I find out, I'll let you know. I'll put that in the description box or maybe somewhere up here. There's other options as well if you want a glycolic um, cleanser. I know Polish Choice has one and someone else, but this is the one I chose to use. And the Dark Angels um, Face and Body Cleanser from Lush. I've been using this for a year. I like it. I may switch because there's another one that I've heard about. It's actually a mask and I really want to do more masks instead of cleansers and also this has like um, 
sugar, black sugar and charcoal and rosewood clay and things like that. And I mainly wanted it for the charcoal. I wanted to do charcoal um, masks. And the other one does have it. But it smells divine like sugar. I use this all over my body and for my face. And I can I guess I noticed the difference. I really just like that it's a good exfoliant. It's really good. It's kind of off topic but not really. Because ingrown hairs can lead to discoloration. But before I, sh before I wax or shave and after I wax and shave, I will use this as like an all over body scrub. And it's really helped with kind of preventing the ingrown hairs and things like that. Those are my three main cleansers. I also use the Indian Healing Clay Masks. I was doing those once a week, not even like once a month. Just because time, life, school. So those work too. And those are really easy to whip up. I actually have instructions on how to do that on my blog and I'll link you to that. So the next thing is my moisturizers. And the first one I use is the Mario Vadisku Oil Free Moisturizer with 30 SPF sunscreen. I like this, it's been really good to my skin. It works in the summer, works in the winter. I haven't had any problems with it. It's nice, it's light. It lasts me about a year. Cause I started using this last May, May of 2015. And I didn't reorder it until I wanna say July, May or July of this year. Actually, it may have been later than that. I may have ordered it towards the end of the summer. But yeah, so this has been really good to me. I just went back to using this, which is the um, Neutrogena Visibly Even Daily Moisturizer with sunscreen that also has an SPF at 30. I like to use that on my neck and chest as well. And I will reapply this throughout the day. This has like more active ingredients than this one does because it, the purpose of it is to clear up your face. And I do know that when I was using this product, my skin really did clear up. Because so I was looking back at pictures and looking at the timeline. And I do know like environment impacts your skin, that diet and things like that. But this is the one thing that as my diet changed and as my environment changed, that it really helped. So I'm adding this back into my regimen just to see how it works out. If I don't like it, well, hey, I have a sunscreen. And it was on sale. Um, and then I use oils. So the one oil that I didn't bring up here because it's in a really huge bottle, well, it's actually bigger than this, but is my grapeseed oil. I use that some nights. I like to use that especially in the winter on my face because I have combination skin, but this area of my face can get really dry at times. So I'll rub it there in here to kind of help to keep it moisturized and I know that's really good for people who have oily skin. I do know some people use it for oil cleansing. I tried that for a bit and mm, it did okay. I tried oil cleansing in the morning. It did okay. Mm, I probably didn't give it enough time. But I like that. I'll put it on my face sometimes. It's just my overall moisturizer. If I don't want to use this at night and it helps. I also have rose hip oil seed rose hip seed oil i've been putting this on my face it's supposed to be good for under eye and kind of helping it's like an under eye um not a cream but like a natural alternative to an under eye cream so i've been using this um makes my skin feel really smooth just a couple drops like four several not a couple several um no complaints i like it and one thing that has been really useful to me that I love, love, love is my vitamin C oil or vitamin C, depending on where you live. Um, but I really, really like this stuff. I've had this for a year. It's a little pricey, but it lasts a long time. But I've had it for a year and oh, the box was about to fall. I've had it for a year and don't think I've used it that much. It smells really not good but pleasant it's very pleasant um i use this the nights that i use the glycolic um foaming cleanser so twice it says you can use it um how many nights a week i think they say every other night and i was using it every other night but as i incorporated more things into my um skincare routine i just started using it less but it's supposed to help to 
smooth out your skin tone, skin tone, help with your uh, collagen that you have, your collagen built up. Um, give your skin some firmness, firmness and elasticity and with this coloration. So that's why I've been using that and I have noticed a difference. It's also somewhat helping my oil um, production. I have realized because the days after I use that, my T-zone is less oily. Although that could be because of this as well. Although I've used this without that and I've noticed a difference even more. Um, and that's it for my moisturizer. Um, I have this toner that I make myself. It is for every one part I use of my Thatcher's Unscented Witch Hazel with Aloe Vera. This is what I prefer to use. I use one part rose water and I will I have one with tea tree oil and one without tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is a good antibacterial so it'll help with like clogged pores and if you have a pimple I'll put that on there and it'll heal it right up. Um but I really like this. It's a natural toner. Helps put this on after I get out the shower from washing my face but before I put on anything else. And this is my little cleansing pad. I got this from Sephora. I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to invest in a facial brush. I probably should. I'll probably do that in the new year. Because I've been holding off for about a couple of years now. And I think I'm just finally going to bite the bullet and do it. But I've been using this. Is I'll put my soap or whatever on here and just kind of like scrub, scrub, scrub. You know, it lathers up nicely. I like it. It's silicone. I maybe replace them every three months. So. And other things I'm using on my skin, just so you know how it's impacted, I use the Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup Liquid Foundation. This is kind of like a natural coverage. This one right here is golden. It's too light for me because I got tan in November. Because normally this will work, but I got tan in November when Obama came to my campus. So I got matched the other day, and I got the next one, which is Spice in that shade. And it works really well, it helps a lot for the next I go out. It doesn't give me that ashy matte finish that their press powder did, which I really, really appreciate. Um, but I enjoy it. I like this so much. This one will do me well in Vegas, because that's coming with me. Um... I have the even better as well from Clinique. I was mixing this with the golden because they were, I use so little foundation. I'm glad these are on the cheap side. They're like $21, $24 depending on where you get them from. Um, so very affordable. Not drugstore affordable, but affordable. Um, I was mixing them because this is a little darker than this one, so it was working well. And then I have my pressed powder, which I don't use. I can't remember what shade this is in. It's been broken so many times. Oh, bless it. Y'all should see this. I can't even show it to you because it's going to fall. But this pressed powder, no. Please stand. Please stand. Please stand. Please close. Fudge nuggets and biscuits. That is a mess. I will clean up off camera. But I was using this. It works sometimes. It so it's one of those ones that gives you an ashy start because of the matte finish. But as the day progresses, it helps. And I use the NYX concealer and corrector contour palette like this stuff hasn't given me any issues um i use a mixture of oil in my hair and i mentioned that because when i oil my scalp i know that i can affect what's on my face so yeah there's vitamin e oil um grapeseed oil coconut oil jojoba oil and something else in there 
that I use. And my different edge controls. I use the Eden Control Glaze. That's one of them. That's my favorite. How many? Actually, how much? I need to figure out how much is in here to make sure TSA fudge nugget. TSA might take this. Let's hope they don't. Um, and then the cream of nature, well, creme of nature, perfect edge. I like this. There's something in the scent that makes me sneeze, but I really like the hold. But I mention that because of how it it'll, it'll impact my face around this area. This one actually made me break out more than this one because this one has more natural ingredients than that one did, which is saying a lot. So this has coconut milk, aloe vera, shea butter, um, sorbic acid, some glycerol, and some other stuff. And this just has a whole bunch of chemicals that I don't think there's anything natural in here, actually. But yeah. And that is about it. Oh, occasionally I will use this tinted moisturizer. Very rare. Very, very rare. But sometimes I will. And that's it as far as what I've been putting on my skin. I need to drink more green tea because when I was drinking green tea and drinking more water, my skin was flourishing. That is key. Stay hydrated, people. And green tea is good for that because it clears it really clears you out. Um, and that is about it. That's what I'm doing. I will keep you updated in the new year.